At AEW Full Gear 2023, Julia Hart established herself as AEW's newest star when she defeated Chris Statlander and Sky Blue to win the AEW TBS Championship. Julia Hart has had a rapid rise in AEW and AEW are often critiqued for not being able to build their own stars which to be honest, I disagree with and I think Julia Hart is complete proof of the opposite. Like I said, her rise has been rapid and she has seen great improvement quickly, so today I thought to tell the story of Julia Hart. What was she doing before AEW, how did she break into AEW and how was her AEW run before winning the title? All that and more in today's video about the meteoric rise of Julia Hart in AEW. Julia Hart began her pro wrestling training in 2019 at Ken Anderson. Anderson's wrestling school and had her first wrestling match in November of that year and she would continue her wrestling training and wrestling on independent shows until the pandemic hit in March 2020 and independent wrestling was put on pause as well as Julia Hart's wrestling career. This led to her switching wrestling schools to one that was active during the pandemic, that wrestling school being the Nightmare Factory, and she would train with them and would wrestle on their second showcase in a tag match. But the thing with the Nightmare Factory that you might already know is that it's owned by Cody Rhodes, who at this time was an EVP in AEW, and the Nightmare Factory during the pandemic sort of acted as AEW's developmental territory, with many wrestlers transitioning into AEW and becoming AEW acts. And one of these of course ended up being Julia Hart who would make her AEW debut when she wrestled Britt Baker on the April 22nd 2021 Blood and Guts Dynamite episode where she was squashed and she would also work that night's dark tapings where she lost to Kylan King and Chris Statlander respectively. Following this though Julia Hart would work more with AEW and was given a new character and direction as she became a cheerleader who was aligned with the Varsity Blondes. Those Varsity Blondes of course being Brian Pillman Jr. and Griff Garrison. She would pick up her first win in AEW on the 25th of May Dark beating Tesha Price and her next appearance would be another Dynamite appearance in a match against Penelope Ford where she would lose and ultimately this was the story of Julia Hart during this era of her career in AEW. She would wrestle mainly on Dark where for the most part she would pick up wins but whenever it came to any matches on TV she was always on the losing end. Regardless though she was on TV a decent amount due to her affiliation with Varsity Blondes but she would have her last match on TV for the year when she wrestled Thunder Rosa on the 28th of July fight for the Fallen Dynamite of course to a loss and while it's a shame Julia didn't get a match on TV for the rest of the year it's easy to forget that at this time Julia Hart was still green and quite new to wrestling but AEW still clearly recognized the potential and still had more plans on TV for her for the rest of the year that didn't involve her wrestling in matches but rather being sprayed with black mist by the House of Black. It was on the December 8th 2021 episode of Dynamite that during an interview with the Varsity Blondes the lights would go out and when they came back on Malachi Black appeared to spray black mist in the eyes of Julia Hart and this would have a long-standing long-term effect on Julia Hart in storyline. Julia Hart would begin sporting an eye patch and show a gradual change in attitude. As well as this, the mist surrounding her eye would begin to grow and spread around her eye and people would begin speculating that this was being done because Julia Hart was on her way to joining the House of Black. However, AEW of course took their sweet time to get there. As it was on the May 4th 2022 episode of AEW Dynamite, yes, five months later, that the Varsity Blondes would call out the House of Black as they didn't want to lose Julia Hart and they felt that they slowly were. The House of Black of course came out and then beat them up, just kind of destroyed them and gave Julia Hart the chance to hit them with a chair, which she didn't do as she stood there stunned and frozen before Death Triangle ran out to make the save. Death Triangle being who the House of Black were facing at Double or Nothing just weeks after this. And it is in this match between House of Black and Death Triangle at Double or Nothing 2022 that after months of prolonging and prolonging, Julia Hart would finally join the House of Black when she helps them win the match against Death Triangle after spraying Pack with Black Mist. On the 3rd of June 2022 episode of Rampage, Julia Hart was shown with the group for the first time, sporting an entirely new look 
look and presentation as she was shown wearing an all black outfit matching in with the theme of the house of black and as part of the house of black julia hart was portrayed as a stronger character and was a part of some major angles including getting to accompany house of black in their feud and then match against darby allen sting and miro at all out 2022 however the issue with house of black during this time was that their tv time was very inconsistent and they got lost in the shuffle a bit they would often go periods lasting months where there was no wrestling for the house of black or even tv appearances for the house of black in fact after the match with sting miro and darby at all out 2022 they weren't even on tv for nearly three months following it However, 2023 would prove to be a different year for the House of Black, and despite hardly wrestling, they had themselves a match booked against the Elite for the AEW Trios titles at Revolution. Titles that many believed the House of Black were long overdue winning, and at Revolution in their match against the Elite, they would win the titles finally and have their first bit of championship gold in AEW. However, despite the fact they won the championships, their TV time was still limited and still fairly inconsistent and it wasn't until collision began airing where the house of black would start to get a little bit more of regular tv time and as well as this julia hart was wrestling on tv in a singles capacity more often than before house of black would defend the titles a few times before they lost them to the acclaimed at all in london and after this the trio of house of black's tv time would become occasional once again but on the opposite julia hart would start getting featured a lot more and her improvement in the ring was very apparent with new moves in her arsenal and julia hart would start picking up wins on tv and get a win over sky blue on rampage before spraying her with black mist on collision following yet another win and this would begin teases with sky blue that were in similar fashion to when julia hart was misted with questions being raised around sky blue and her eye and why her look was changing as well julia hart the next week would defeat sky blue's partner willow nightingale and this would earn julia hart a tbs title match against chris statland at Wrestle Dream in her first ever AEW pay-per-view match and she would lose this match but it was a good showing and she wasn't out the title picture just yet. She defeated Willow Nightingale once again in a title eliminator match to earn another shot for the TBS title this time in a three-way match at full gear against Sky Blue and of course champion Chris Statlander. The three of them had a very solid match and all three of them had a great showing but in the end it was Julia Hart who stole the pin from Chris Statlander on Sky Blue to win the match and win the AEW TBS Championship. The biggest win of Julia Hart's wrestling career to date, her first ever AEW title win and history being made as Julia Hart had just became the youngest ever AEW champion at just 22 years old. When you compare the Julia Hart of today to the Julia Hart at the beginning of her AEW career, it's night and day and the improvement and evolution of Julia has been immense. I'm very interested to see where AEW goes with her title reign. Here's hoping she doesn't disappear off TV or get her TV time lessened but regardless I'm excited to see where this goes and I'm very excited about Julia Hart being the new AEW TBS champion.